What I'm going to try and do now is going to use the CBBC website, and we're going to try to combine that with what we know about newspaper writing, or newspaper report writing, to write a newspaper report about one of those films that we just had some time to watch. Starts with a bit of a headline, a short paragraph telling me who, what, where, when, why, then I have the main recount, then I've got a quote, and then with an appeal for help. So the newspaper report starts like this. The Wednesday the 30th of March, Brick Saves Bacon. Yesterday, in the middle of the woods, the three little pigs had an amazing escape from the clutches of the big bad wolf. There's my introduction. Who, what, where, when. The main recount goes like this. Two of the pigs had their homes blown away. On a Thursday afternoon, we have PPA time, me and you know, the Year 6 teacher. So we do our planning. Um, and we, we're lucky that we've been in Year 6 for a while. So we, we're perhaps more efficient at doing our planning. When we finished the planning side, we then go onto the platform, because it's all Thursday afternoon, we go onto the platform and then we create, we, we add the content to the platform, which we know next week's lessons are going to use. So we start off on the year, we have a year six page, and then we'll put on what we do in literacy for the week, what we're doing in science for the week, and what we're doing in maths for the week. And onto there, we'll then put the relevant web links that we're going to use, particularly for literacy. We'll put that onto the year six page. Aside from that, one of us will do, we've got a separate science page and we've got a separate maths page. And then within the, the sorry, maths site and science site, then we'll also add content to the maths site for the week and the content to the science site for the week. So that whereas, and this has been the thing that's building up, so that now that we're in the process of revision, because we've been creating these contents, for example, you know, there's a site on data handling, there's a site on multiplication, there's a site on fractions. We can come back to that and revisit that in our revision for our SATs preparation. And again, children who've struggled with things in the lesson, and we've accessed it in the lessons as well, if they then struggle with it, they can go home and they can practice it further. Although there's an initial investment in time to set them up, I know next year, when I come back, if I'm in year six again, because I've created the content, I can just revisit those and reuse those again, perhaps add to them and build on them and reflect what things worked and what, didn't, what things didn't work. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And that's that, to get to that stage, it took quite a bit of evolution because at first I was just creating stuff here, there and everywhere, you know, rather ad hoc, but now it's more planned, the structure. Science site, math site, e-safety site, literacy site, topic sites and so on and when we have big functions in the school for example we had a creative week two or three weeks ago I created a new site where I put all content of slideshows and videos and the such like on the creative week as as a means of informing parents of what we're doing in school if you like it's a bit of a portfolio of our work kind of thing. My name's Tammy um, I'm in a parent of a year six pupil and a year three pupil at Sanford Hill Primary School um, the benefit for me as a parent um, is that I, I get to be involved um, with my son's work. Um, he'd be keen to show me when he comes home from school um, and I can see what he's been doing and what the class have been doing um, and it's nice to be able to compare and if he needs any help with homework I'm able to help him then. It's nice that you know that I'm able to take an interest whereas before you know he would uh, come home with pieces of paper that he had to fill in his homework, but now it's all interactive, I can sit with him, um, we play games on there. Well, when we first launched it to parents, we've launched it to, to Year 6 parents, we, did it, we, we tied it in with a, we did a SATS information evening for parents, and we were telling parents, as we prepare for the SATS, we're going to be sending stuff home that we require the children to revise and to revisit. And part of that we also tagged on to was e-safety as well, I think that's an integral part to the platform. Don't roll out the platform without delving into e-safety. And the parents that came then to that, that information meeting, they had to sign for their password to get the site. From that then, I thought a means of engaging parents, I set up a parental discussion, because I'm looking for feedback all the way, it's, get, it's to engage parents in this dialogue. And I said to parents, please can you, and I showed them how to, re, to, re, to respond to a discussion, I said, please can you tell me, how did you find tonight's SATS presentation, how did you find e-safety? And every now and again, I put discussions on there, which I'm asking for the parents to say, yeah, I like this, I like that. At some point, I shall be putting things on, um, you know, how, how, do, how is you finding the revision progress, pro, process so far? They're going to be um, doing the SATs in May, um, so this is really good to have all the resources there, so we can sit together and go through it and anything that he's a little bit worried about.
um, we can go through together. Yeah, a, a lot, lot more involved now. I know exactly what he's been doing. Um, it's nice to, when they have discussions on the board, it's nice to see a comparison of your child's work and another child's work. So, if, you know, if you feel that they need some help, then you can help them out. And there's lots of resources on the learning platform, so you can go it, go through it with your child. At the moment, I'm just writing a story, a newspaper report, on the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, and we're going to put it into the dis discussion. Yeah, I'll go on it at home as well. I think it's really good because there's a lot of websites you can go on which help you with your learning. He puts like things on what we're learning about, so when we were doing the Ken Shoops Kingdom, he put lots of different chapters on, and we had to answer lots Lots of questions about the chapters and that and reply to discussions. What they did with some of the pupils, they trained some of the pupils um, on the learning platform and how to use it and those pupils went to, tr to train other pupils so it's, that's again that's building confidence. Because all the time what I'm trying to engender is a culture whereby they don't learn because I tell them they must learn but they learn to find out. To me the platform is not knowledge based it's skills based. What I'm trying to equip the children with is the skills to learn. I can teach them how to learn. I want them to go away into the wide world and use those skills, learn for themselves. Learning's for life.